guys, we're Marie Jose and Chase. These two stinkos are Pablo and Jake. Last week wasn't our week at all. And after getting stuck in Florida, we knew it was time for some R&R. &R. Good morning, Boo Boo. We made it to Nashville. So we decided to clean the van, he needed it, and Chase got something in the mail. So he's very excited, he's about to show you. Friends, Christmas came early here at the Tio Aventura van house. Chevrolet. Chevrolet house. Marose got something. You wanna show them? A lot of you know that we have a composting toilet, not right? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and, you know, we have the pee tank and the whole thing, but emptying is a whole process. So Chase surprised me with a little Christmas gift. Do you know what this is? You might remember from Eamon and Beck's video where we swapped the bus for their van. I'm about to pee and they say I have to do it in here. How do you put it in that? Do you put that in the, the other way? Yep, right like that. I had to use one of these for the first time and it was a lot of fun. So I'm excited to have my own little pee funnel. She can go outside now very easily. Just stand and wee. <laughs> I'm gonna know what guys do. The benefits of being a boy. I wonder if you can write your whole name while you stand Ooh, up. Ooh, we should do a competition. <laughs> I'm a master at that. So, like I said, Christmas came early. And, um, well, finally I'm able to do something to the van that I've wanted to for a very long time. And we've had the opportunity to work with brands in the past and we just kind of chose not to. Um, but we went out on a limb here and bought our own lights to put around the van. So we got a couple of these. Um, I accidentally over ordered them. Uh, I'll go ahead and be honest. I thought they were two packs so I ordered three boxes and well they're four packs. So we've got three times the lights that I was expecting to have. No, actually we have two times the lights I was expecting to have. So we're gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree or a prison with an escaped inmate. So, um, but to give you an idea, um, we've got these little fog light fellas for the front and I've already attached one of them. I like to do these things so I don't look like an absolute idiot when it comes time to show you all, but look at this. There are companies that make floating light attachment things um, for sprinter vans, but those cost like a hundred bucks for two little brackets. And I found the same company that manufactures the lights that we got. I found these little brackets that are no drill. Um, they're not a hundred dollars. They're like 15 bucks and they attach really anywhere on the hood or on a fender that you could want them. Um, so it was just kind of a no brainer. It saved a lot of money and they look just as good. Um, the others, they refer to themselves as flight, uh, as floating light brackets. Um, and well, these are attached to any fender surface uh, light brackets. Um, they work really well on the hood, which is where we intend to have them. So come along with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get the second one installed. So one thing that's really important when you're installing this type of light is, uh, first off, the size of the light and if it's going to fit um, here on the hood when the hood is open. So these little uh, three by three inch pods are fantastic even with this light mount, because when the hood's open, there's still plenty of room without it coming in contact with the glass. And now we just need to install the light itself. We opted for a yellow fog uh, because these tend to do a little bit better in actual foggy conditions, uh, the way that they spread light. We experienced a white Christmas with family in East Tennessee. And then we said goodbye to one half of the greatest pair of grandparents that have ever existed made our way back to Nashville before hitting the road once again.
baby. Hmm? We're not in the van. Hi friends, good morning. You might be wondering, where in the heck are these people? And well, we were wondering the freaking same. <laughs> we are so thankful for our friend Kathy. Let me explain a little bit about Kathy. She is the one who bought Tio, our old school bus, from us. And she converted it into an Airbnb, and that's her business. She has different Airbnbs through Texas, and we are so lucky to be staying on her tree house. It's one of many Airbnbs that she offers, but whoa. When I think of Texas, it was always desert and cowboys. That's it. But Kathy has a thing she calls Getaway Texas. And that is her Instagram handle. That's really the underlying tone is how do you get away in Texas? And like Marose said, this is the Lake Travis tree house. And Lake Travis is fantastic. It's so beautiful, uh, but it's all different experiences. She has a cottage in Fredericksburg. We've got the tree house here, um, Tio, the bus. We were really just kind of trying to figure out what we were gonna be doing. And it just makes sense that we pop in and visit um, some of her places, so. We just finished eating breakfast and Kathy just came and surprised us with a loaf of bread that she made for us. It smells so good. She even brought us like vegan butter. That is the sweetest thing ever. Oh my God. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. The way that it smells. Oh my God. Now that we had breakfast, that we got ready, I think it's only fair that we give you a tour of this amazing Airbnb. Come on, let's go. The tree house is just incredible. From the views, the space, it has three rooms, two bathrooms, and everything you can imagine. It's such a big difference from the van to the house for sure. So things like cooking or doing dishes or just taking a shower is completely different than the van for sure. As soon as you come in, you have the living room, which my favorite part is all the windows and the view that you have. Right over here we have fireplace, which is gonna be very nice. It's mid 60s today, so it's not gonna be too cold or not too hot, but I think we probably can use the fire today. Right across we have the kitchen, which let's take a moment to take this kitchen is. It's huge! And they have everything you need from oven, huge fridge, anything. It's just like the perfect place to have a bunch of friends or family. Something else Kathy offer, laundry room. So we will be doing some laundry instead of the laundromat. Downstairs we have two rooms and one bathroom. The first room, it's gonna be right here. It's more like a kid's room, but it's great. You can sleep multiple people. I believe that's also a sofa bed, so you can fit here quite a bit of people. Bathroom numero uno, very big. Room number two is this great spacious room. I love the color and all the decor that Kathy did, and it's just perfect. We could have been great sleeping here. Now let's go upstairs. Upstairs we have the master bedroom, and I'm just obsessed with it. Here is where we stay last night, and I have to say, this bed was so comfy. We were sleeping each in one side and it felt like we were like, I couldn't get to Chase. I continued like getting closer and closer and I couldn't get to him. So he was very happy that I wasn't there just like hugging all night, taking his side. Also, she added a desk and upgraded her Wi-Fi because during the pandemic and people coming and having to work, from the computer or even kids having to do an online school, 
they will need that and this is just a perfect space you have a window that you can see outside and all the trees and it's just like perfect little getaway and i have to say probably my second favorite thing about this house is this bathroom right here we took a shower last night and i'm like so excited for a shower tonight you know i'm trying to like get as much as i can of what i can now get in the van two sinks we have huge closet we have a bathtub shower and a little closet that she fill up with like ton stuff whatever you need it's in there i'm just like this is great you can use the bathroom and just flush it's, <laughs> it's the small little things in life like that let's go and check out i think it's my favorite thing about this house Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Now that you got to see why we're so in love with this tree house there's one more thing that we want to do before we enjoy the hot tub and that is we are going to go paddle our little butts off on the kayaks. So come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, hurry. I'm waiting on you. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. No, we're bumped we didn't get to go in the kayaks but you know we're both hungry we want to get in the hot tub which probably is hot now and I thought to myself well I'm gonna make a big dinner tonight so why do I end up make like some snacks so I'm gonna make some hummus so this is actually Tim's recipe so Chase's dad's recipe he found it and now it's his recipe so let's do it let me explain what you need. You need two cups of garbanzo, which I put two cans of garbanzo beans. Half a cup of lemon juice, one quarter cup of cold water. We put a tiny little bit more, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of water. And then one cup of tahini. And then one teaspoon of salt. tell you guys a secret. I'm a very happy boy right now. Rose made my dad's hummus. I, I should say my dad and mom's hummus. We have Big Swig, which Big Swig, if you ever want to work with someone, hit us up. This is, this is a reason to visit Texas. And then we're hanging out in the most comfortable hot tub I've ever experienced, all thanks to our dear friend, Kathy. So thank you. You guys. This is so nice. What do you think about it? We are having a blast. It's so good. Beautiful view. My bad vibes are all good vibes. <laughs> 